Sun Zi is an ancient Chinese military general and strategist. In his book, Sun Zi Bing Fa, he mentioned five constant factors when it comes to planning. Heaven refers to night and day, cold and heat, times and seasons. Earth refers to terrain like open ground and narrow passes. While Russia has been planning for the invasion of Ukraine, they failed to consider environmental and terrain factors. Besides anti-tank missiles and landmines, Russian tanks also have to deal with the mud. Rasputisa is the Russian term for spring and autumn, where traveling on unpaved roads become difficult due to muddy conditions from rain or melting snow. This has happened throughout history. The Russian leadership could have chosen a better season to invade Ukraine where tanks could operate effectively. Based on the Soviet military doctrine Maskirovka, Russia tried deceiving the world by saying that Russia has no plans to attack Ukraine. Russia has also used deception in the annexation of Crimea in 2014. However, over the years, Ukraine is slowly learning from their mistakes. We have yet to see Russian forces performing sophisticated offensive maneuvers using signal or electronic deception. For instance, as a Russian commander, I would order the increase in volume of communications and electronic transmissions to make the Ukrainians think that I will attack CDA. In reality, I will attack CDB instead. The Russian leadership completely underestimated the Ukrainians' will to defend their country, thinking that they would simply surrender. Russia's leadership also does not know the state of its own military, such as poor equipment ranging from vehicles to communication systems. Russian vehicles face a variety of problems due to poor maintenance and poorly made tires. Despite Russia having developed the ERA secured communication system, it cannot function because Russian forces had destroyed the 3G and 4G cell towers in Ukraine. This results to Russian forces having to use unencrypted communication that are easily intercepted. These intercepted communications allow Ukrainian military intelligence to study Russian forces and movements. The Ukrainians are using guerrilla tactics, ambushing isolated Russian forces and supply trucks that are easy targets. In response, the Russians tried using wood as protection for their supply trucks, but obviously this would not be effective against high explosive or anti-tank weapons. Russian forces, on the other hand, are bombing civilian targets. Both sides understood the importance of logistical supplies to win a war. Hence, Russian supply trucks are priority targets for the Ukrainians. Having lost many supply trucks, 
the Russians are responding by bringing in civilian vehicles to resupply their forces. Meanwhile, the Russian forces are also targeting Ukrainian food and ammunition depots. The Russians deployed about 175 to 190,000 troops against more than 200,000 Ukrainians, and these are just active personnel. Add in the reserve personnel, paramilitary, and foreign volunteers, the Ukrainians would have a much larger defending force. This also does not include ordinary Ukrainians resisting the invasion. The 3 is to 1 rule is a well-known rule that suggests that an attacking force should be at least 3 times larger than the defending force to secure a victory. This is because the defenders have advantages such as fortifications. The Russian leadership also made a huge mistake by attacking everywhere simultaneously. As a Russian commander, if I attack everywhere, I will lose all battles. Therefore, I need to concentrate my forces on one front to make winning easier with a larger attacking force. From there, I can attack the next city. Having capable soldiers, high battlefield mobility, and sufficient logistical supplies are necessary factors for a successful offensive operation. Sun Tzu describes five classes of spies. The use of local spies refers to employing services from local inhabitants. In the context of this war, Russia's fifth column refers to Russian sympathizers in Ukraine gathered in secret that can mobilize to assist the Russian invasion by performing acts of sabotage, disinformation, or espionage. The Ukrainians are highly aware of such threats in their country. Thus far, we have not seen the success of Russia's fifth column in Ukraine. 